From your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. Taking a live look outside in New Bern, we're sitting at 83 degrees. We have fair skies mostly across the east here, and you certainly see that uh, earlier this afternoon there was a brief shower and storm near you, but the scents have uh, moved into Pamlico County. Dew point sitting well into the upper 70s, providing a soupy air mass. That's one of the reasons if you step outside, temperatures, even though sitting in the 80s, feels closer towards 90 degrees. First alert live radar, mostly quiet. There are a few showers and storms down towards the south and east across sections of Beaufort County. We had one cell earlier near uh, Gum Neck, but it looks like for tonight we'll still have a brief shower or storm temperatures dropping down into the low to middle 70s. Winds coming in out of the southwest at around 5 to 10 miles an hour further inland and even along the coast. But then tomorrow heading out the door, you're going to be needing the rain jacket and rain boots, especially during the afternoon hours. Also grab the t-shirt and also have the sunscreen. Despite the clouds uh, that's going to be sticking around, UV index values will still be at least around 5 to 6 during the afternoon. So we're going to start off into the 70s, get easily into the lower 80s throughout the afternoon. A couple peaks of sunshine may trigger a few showers and thunderstorms. And again, depending on the motion of these storms will really determine who will see the most amount of precipitation. So scattered activity this evening beginning to taper off as we head into the overnight hours. Can't rule out a brief shower again, but then heading into Monday morning, cloud cover meets us uh, heading out the door. Still seeing some scattered showers and storms possibly along the crystal coast eventually moving further inland and then watch what happens as we go into the afternoon certainly around one two three o'clock you get a nice little banding here of showers and storms and if it sits over an area long enough you can easily pick up one two even up to three inches of precipitation and our hourly uh, forecast model shows that where most areas could pick up around a quarter inch or less but then if you get caught underneath a very heavy cell or two you can easily pick up several inches uh, uh, that model at one point was showing seven to eight inches in consistent a little bit overdone, but you get the point. Other spots remaining dry, some locations seeing a lot of precipitation, mainly over the next few days, as we'll just have abundant amounts of moisture sitting over the east, keeping us nice and saturated over uh, Monday going into your Tuesday as well. So again, be sure to have the un umbrella and rain jacket, certainly not only going into your Monday and Tuesday, but you're going to need it pretty much throughout the rest of the week as air temperatures remain into the 80s, close to 90, overnight lows into the low to middle 70s. We get a nice break, it looks like going into next weekend. But for right now, it looks like we're just going to be trading the heat in for showers and storms. So probably not a good idea to hit the beaches over the next few days. Not a good idea at all. Okay. All right. Thanks, Russell.